nothing can break me. Hi guys, I'm Emma. Hey guys, I'm John, and we're Emma and John, you're welcome. Welcome back if you've been here before, and if you're brand new, then thank you so much for joining us. I hope that you like to stick around and join us in all of our adventures. You can do that by hitting the little subscribe button. Just in the corner, you're today. If you do hit the subscribe button, then please make sure to turn the notification bell as well, and then you'll be notified every single time that we post. Absolutely. So we've been asked a couple of times recently what we're filming on. Yep. Um, you might already know by now. Um, What's not pops and tricks? Yeah. <laughs> about, I thought it was a year ago, but looking back, I think it was more like two. Okay. We did film a What's in Our Camera bag yep um and i think it's time for an updated one yes we changed a few things mm -hmm. yeah so why not we've got some things that have stayed the same so we'll whiz through those yep and then some things that have definitely changed um so the first one is what we're filming on right now absolutely the sony zv1 or zv1 yeah um i really really like it we changed it because we had a slight um, focusing issue on the g7x um, and I think this one is slightly better for that. Yeah, we did do a full unboxing, if you want to know what it looks like and stuff. Um, I'll leave a link just up there. And we've been playing around with it, like John said, for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, personally really like the um, focus on, oh, what is it called? Product. Showcase. Product showcase, yeah. that's <laughs> it. I think that works really well. Absolutely that's really it does. smooth. Yeah. And um, I quite like the... Um, smooth filter, whatever that's called. <laughs> Do we look like good? It. Do we look really good? <laughs> anyway. We don't use that much. No. <laughs> Only if you had a hard night. <laughs> so, something that we bought to go along with the camera we're filming on now, let's yep. start that because it's going to be a lot more boring. We haven't used this at all. Yeah, yet. so we bought the, what are they called? I don't even know. Um, Saramonic Ultra Compact Dual Channel <laughs> Wireless <laughs> Microphone System. That's a my fault. Yeah, so we do plan on giving this a test, which is why we've not used it. Yes. Um, we've seen we people... We could use it now, but yeah. could. Um, one thing I will say about it, because obviously we opened it to check that everything was in there. Yeah. How sleek is this packaging? Yeah. Um, it does look good. And we watched a couple of reviews on now on YouTube, and I just deemed had it, and she said it was amazing, and I just... Uh, yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to use them. Um, you just clip onto your, and your lapel, lapel. Um, and they just like, and you can wear them out as well with your Bluetooth. So yeah, and we haven't had a problem with this um, sound on this one at all at the moment. Um, well, I think it will be handy when you're in crowds. Yeah. Um, one thing I will know actually about this one that I have noticed um, it compared to the G7X is that when you're behind the camera, it doesn't pick you up quite as well as the okay. G7X Mark III does. Um, be, I think because all of the mic uh, pointing forward, yep. it's got the three mic things that point forward, so it doesn't pick you up quite as well if you're talking and showing something yeah. in front of you. Yeah. Um, but these are going to come in super handy. And one thing I do want to add is um, the wide angle attachment that you can get Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, yeah, we're going to buy that probably today. Maybe, um, yeah. and get that on because that looks quite good as well. But these will come into play when we're doing restaurants and stuff because yeah. it's noisy in a restaurant and you can like, hear a lot of people, other people talking, and um, this is banging together and that. And I I think with this will be a lot better. Yeah. So, we'll so keep your eye out yeah. for um we're just gonna test it. My my <laughs> initial plan is to sit close together like this, yeah. test it, and then run far away. Test one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah. see how far away from the camera we can get because it's obviously Bluetooth. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, if you've got one of these, um I don't know how close I can get. If you've got you can see the light shining on it there. <laughs> yeah. If you've got one of these, let us know what you think. Um but we're excited to try these. Absolutely, yeah. Um I'm looking forward to that and there will be a video about that so watch out for that I guess. Yeah. Just a quick mention on the studio because you can obviously see the light reflecting on the shiny on that. So we use two um, studio lights. Yep. We don't use the ring lights. Um, we should do. That will be there next maybe. Maybe. I don't think it really matters which one you use. We just use the like, rectangle and then yeah. they've got a sheet over them. Yeah, we super, bought these super ones cheap on Amazon. Super <laughs> cheap, yeah. So ring lights tend to run a little bit more expensive. Yeah. Um, these ones do exactly what we want them to do. And then we use um, a tripod. We do, yes. And that is base. Oh, and a green screen sometimes. That's it. Yeah. Um, we like your green screen because it's born background, it's born today. Nice and um, <laughs> Yeah, so we only use that when they want to jazz, jazz it up. It up yeah. yeah. Um, and I, I do like it. Um, the ultimate goal is to have a studio and paint the wall because it takes a lot of space up for green screen. It really does, but, yeah. yeah. But that's all we use for our studio and um, I would say like the lights I probably needed sometimes. We're using one now because our living room is quite dark. <laughs> yeah. Um, but also, you could get away with not having the lights if you had some Absolutely, you could. with yeah. natural light. Um, Absolutely, that's the ultimate goal because um, the artificial light it does makes it 
hard yeah. to sort Especially of... when you're like see through like <laughs> yeah. I am, it makes yeah. you look extra pasty. But it's so dark, so yeah. you need to. And the <laughs> tripod is, I think it's literally like, uh, this one might be a little bit more expensive actually, but. We had this tripod for years. We've had this one for years, but I know the one we bought before this was 20 pounds from Curry's. I think this one is more 40 pounds, but it's a lot sturdier. Yes, um, and we've got two handheld tripods that we use um, and we vlog in. There's probably one on the table. Yeah, they're just your um, basic. Just your basic They're the ones, ones we like, aren't they? Yeah, the chunky yeah. ones. Mm -hmm. um, but that's about it, what we haven't shown you or what we won't show you. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> um, starting off with this because you've seen it before and yes. it'll be easy. This is the drone bag. It is. Um, so we've got the Mavic Mini 2. We have. Let's see if I can pull it out yeah. real quick. You'll have seen, uh, if you've been watching us, maybe you're not and this is the first time you're seeing anything from us, but we had the Mavic Mini 1, I threw it, I flew it into <laughs> A river, yeah. So we got they the, didn't do very good in the water. No, they, it drowned. <laughs> so we got the Mavic Mini 2. It's yep. a, pretty much the same size as the Mini 1, apart from the controller. The controller is massive. Um, than we like this one. controller, yeah. We actually. do, it's really, really good. And um, we've got the combo set, which means we had free that batteries and charger as well. Yeah, so that's our drone. The drone's amazing. If you've seen some of our stuff we've done on the drone, we love it. it really good quality stuff yeah um if you haven't seen it go and check it out on Mavic mondays um but yeah i mean i love the drone and we probably would get a new one if a new one come out but at the moment this does exactly what we want it to do yeah it films in 4k yeah um it's got the cinematic modes which are really pretty yeah it's also got like speedy ones which i don't know what they're called but <laughs> they're like super fast it yeah. does panoramic shots absolutely there's all your sh the shots that you want um built into it so we you're not very good at flying that uh, we not sometimes it does it all for you so yeah it's really really good yeah. well worth the money if you're looking for a drone then you can't beat your ggi mavic mini one or two yeah they're both really good what i will say because i know a lot of times when we do um drone footage or anything with the drone people say oh i'd love one but i'm scared yeah um this drone, I know it's rich coming from me because I flew into a river, but that was totally my fault, not the drone. Um, we've never, other than that one time, yeah. we haven't had a problem or a reason not to trust the drone. Absolutely And not. The, the one time, um, I was sending it under a bridge. So yes. it was nothing to do with the drone and completely to do with there's wind under a bridge. Absolutely. So I would say if you are gonna get a drone, I know that like sometimes when you buy cheaper versions of things, and I'm not saying there aren't good drones out there that are cheaper, there probably no. are, but this one will- It's super easy. It hovers where you yeah. want it to. You, you can trust that it is where it is. Obviously, it'll tell you if there's too much wind. Absolutely. It'll tell you any problems. Yeah. So I would recommend, I, if you're scared of it, don't be, I think the key is don't be scared of it. Yeah, you just have yeah, to be brave. Just go with it, yeah. The more you fly it, the better you'll be at it, and the more confidence you get at it. Um, yeah. It's really, really good. Just trust what it tells you, you know, yeah. and then you'll be fine. Okay. So next up will be this big rucksack. Yeah. It's it, absolutely amazing. It's Everything's big. in it. <laughs> yeah. It's um really wide. Um, John bought me this for my birthday. Yep. I reckon it was. 2018 it could have been 2017 it's been I, a few years yeah. yeah um obviously we don't take it out every day we take it when we're going on trips it's yeah. got a padlock on it from when we went away last time i think <laughs> um i've seen a few people with these recently and i wonder if they've brought out a new one maybe um but i haven't seen one <laughs> that i've liked as much as this one yeah um so yeah we take this on holiday normally this is my hand luggage absolutely um it's got yeah, everything all mine um yeah, everything's in it, apart from the batteries, what I've got to go in, the main case, and on the airplane. Yeah. Um, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything else is in there. We keep our laptop, our Mac in there, we keep everything in there, and it's all safe because we're with you. Yeah. Um, and just normal bag, that's all we need on hand luggage, really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like Emma said, absolutely on a daily basis, is in here, and it's nice and safe, apart from the camera we'll be talking to you on, that's normally out. Yeah. <laughs> but everything else is kept in here. Okay, so there's a front pouch, I'm not going to hold it up the entire time, it's too heavy. And in the front pouch, all we keep are wipes and like, the dust cloth. You can't be, so, you can't have too many wipes. Yeah, so we just see it's like these, what are these like, be clean. Alcohol wipes, yeah, these are for like phones and all your screens yeah. and things like that. if we're completely like honest, I nick these from work because these are my safety glasses that I use from work. Yeah. <laughs> but you can get them anywhere. Yeah. Um, do you want to put that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we have another from that one's a tiny little pocket at the front. Um I will show you. Um just here. Yeah. And then we've got another zippy one, so let's do that. 
and do that. To be honest, I'm not sure I know what's in all <laughs> Okay, so we have... Oh yeah. That one mic. is for the... It's a microphone. Canon G7X. Yeah, this one, actually. I think this was like £20. I couldn't tell you the name. Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, Saramonic, which is interesting. It's the because same. it's the same! Uh, okay, well that's good, because <laughs> I was about to say that we never had any problems with no, this. No, we haven't. Apart from once, we didn't plug it and put oh, it in his mouth, enough. but that was our fault, yeah. Yeah, and then there's just some wires... A handbook in there. Yeah, it's not much in that. The main bit is in there. It's not the very wide that pocket, so we no. generally put. Oh, it's got actually. It has got a really handy um, pocket for SD cards in there. Oh which yeah. We don't use except when we're on holiday. Okay, so now we're on the main one. I know there's some stuff in this main pouch that we don't <laughs> use. So okay, so Bob and Kelly, they're amazing. They sent. A bag and that's got all sorts of it's cables wires, and stuff batteries, in it. Yeah. Charges. All sorts of stuff that's too small to be in the bag on its own. Yeah. But that's our we use it for that and it's amazing. It's the um, haunted mansion and that on it. Yeah. Well, it's incredible and we love it. And it's got all our cables in that we keep safe. Yeah, so, yeah. and it actually <laughs> it zips up like halfway. So oh yeah, you can make it, it does. Yeah. If you want to. What's amazing? So thank you again. For that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this camera. Um this is my Canon M100. Yeah. Um, the lens is obviously in here somewhere. Yeah, those lenses for it. So we've got the big telescopic yep. lens. Um, this one is a super big one. Uh, the 75 to 300 millimeters, 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 <laughs> millimeters. Yeah. And then we have the basic one that it came with as well, just this one here. Yeah. Um, you want a pancake lens? That's probably our next lens purchase. Yeah, I'd like a 24mm or a 22mm pancake just yeah. for the wide angles. Something that I think maybe is a canon thing, um, I find that the M100 and actually the G7X Mark III, yep. they do really well in low light. Well, let's yet to try the Sony <laughs> in low light. Yeah, uh, we know canon do, but I don't think you have the opportunity for low light on this one yet. Not yet. Um, so to be confirmed, I guess. Yeah. And but yeah, you're right. These the canons do do really well in low light. Yeah, this is the sister camera to the M50. Yeah. The difference being this one flips up this way. Yep. And the M50 flips out that way, like the Sony does. <laughs> Absolutely. Personally prefer this way. I think you can vlog much more discreetly with this. Um, we haven't found it being a problem with the Sony at all. I think it's just a preference thing. I think it is a preference. The reason why they put on the side, I'm looking at you now, mm -hmm. but the reason why they put on the side is so you keep a top three, four cage and mics and yeah. stuff. Yeah, this so I happen. understand why, why they've done that. But the M100 was a really, really good camera. It was the first camera we had yeah. to vlog on. It, been on all sorts of holidays and trips with us. Um, I actually got this one fixed recently. Yeah, it did break, but it's got a fix now. Um, so it's really good at sit down um, videos like this as well. Um, it's a really good all rounder, it and um, because it is fairly old now, you can pick a decent. You can probably pick a new one up um, for around three hundred pounds. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for a camera and you want one with interchangeable lenses, personally, I would recommend this. Absolutely, one. that's the reason why we kept this camera. A, because we love it. It was our first camera. It's been fixed, but also because you can change a lens to a super big lens. Yeah. And get some incredible photos on it. It's going to be a photo sort of camera now, I guess. Yeah, and I think I'm quite one. personally attached. Yeah. To it. <laughs> okay, so this is the next camera, or the, the last camera. Yeah. This one also does the flippy uppy. This is uh, the Canon G7X Mark Yes, III. like I say, there's some good things about it. There's not so. There's some bad things about it as well. Like the focus, what we mentioned, it bugged me, hence why we went for your Sony now. Um, but we're definitely going to keep it as a backup camera. Um, I still love it. It's awesome. Just don't love it as much as a Sony at the moment. <laughs> yeah, from um, what we've heard actually, and if we're going to be completely honest, which we are, the Mark II, um, we've heard the focus issues in that are a lot better Absolutely. than this one. Yep. But again, this one has the flippy uppy screen. This one actually comes out. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Or like, I don't know if you can see, but like, there you go, you can see it yeah. now, like a concertina kind of. Um, it's that also does it on the Sony as well. You can move it around where you want yeah, it. Yeah, the Sony's to yeah. the side, so you can twist it like backwards and forward. Yeah. Um, yeah, this one, I don't know. We didn't have this one as long as we had the M100, so I'm no. not as attached to it. Um, but I do, I like it, I think, better than John does. I thought it was a cute <laughs> little camera, but maybe I've got more patience. 
Yeah, yeah, I think you've got to have a lot of patience with it. It's a little bit slow on the focus. Yeah. So. If you get the Canon G7X, and just make sure you are take your time with it because the focus issue is a problem mm -hmm. if you rush it. Yeah, and you have to do the beauty vlogger thing where you're like, yeah. Whereas with the Sony, you actually don't have to do that at all no. unless it's like really tiny things. Yeah. And then once it knows this is what you're trying to do, it does pick it up really quick. But again, I wouldn't say don't get this one. Um, I would just say maybe get the M100 over this one, and the M100 is actually cheaper. Yeah, or get so, a Mark II. I'll get, yeah. yeah. I don't know if we would get a Mark II over an M100 though. No, no. But so, I'm saying if you were looking at Canons and you wanted a Canon, maybe get the Mark II. Yeah, but it's nice and sleek. Absolutely. So, yeah. Okay, so we also have, um, we don't use this as much as we should. No, we probably should use it more. And it's, we, we've, got, <laughs> oh, we've got it connected to, yeah. so it's the GoPro. I don't it's even know It's a super which one old is. one. Um, that's probably, we should update that as well. <laughs> um, that is one of the originals, I think, yeah. Oh, I think it's the Series 4 grey one. <laughs> okay. Um, that's what I, oh, it doesn't tell me on here. Um, <laughs> I know it does 4K. Yeah. It's really good, the, the quality is really good. We never had an issue with it. Take it when we go into water rides and when it can get wet. Um, we never vlog, I know some people vlog on the GoPro. We never done that unless we got like on rides or when you're gonna get wet. Um, I don't think the sound on that one is good to do it for us. No. Um, but yeah, the footage that we got from it is really good. The only negative for that one is the battery don't last that long. Yeah, um, just to correct that, myself, it's the seven white, so, okay. <laughs> um, which I remember being confused by because it's actually grey in colour. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's the GoPro seven white, and I think are they on nine now? Yeah, I know that super old one. Yeah, it was one on the But much. yeah, personally, we don't use this enough for it to be worth getting a new one every year. No. Um, and we mostly only use it for driving shots, <laughs> and it does a great job for that. It so. does. Yeah, maybe one day we're looking to get an updated version of that one, but like Emma said, we don't really need it at the moment. Yeah, I've just got it set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the GoPro. That's our only action kind of cam. Yes. And I personally think iPhones are so good now. Yeah that I don't know why you wouldn't just use an iPhone. 100% agree. Yeah, I mean, we got our iPhone 12 Pro Max, what I've got, you've got the um, your normal Pro. Um, yeah, it's waterproof, you can use it, the quality's really good. So yeah, I think it's taken away from the GoPro just for that, I guess, I completely agree. Yeah, because we don't use the GoPro for sound. I know some people do, no, yeah. but we don't use it for sound and um, quick story we were in Greece <laughs> and we had iPhones in those sealed bags we did. and they did a great job they did yeah really impressed with them we got some dolphin stuff on that and yeah. it came out really well yeah okay. um yeah the GoPro is good but it's not good enough for sound for us no so yeah maybe one day we'll update it we've got chargers Oh, this is um, the tri one of the tripods we use. So yes. It's a three-pronged, I don't know how to show you this. A it's three chunky, it's an iGadget one. It is an iGadget one. I yeah. don't know why, but these are like, what, $7.99 or something like that? Amazon, yeah. Yeah, and these are the ones I, we, we've had other ones, and I've been like, no, I want to put this one back on. Yeah. I think my hand is just used to it. It is chunky, and yeah, it feels nice. I don't hand. feel like I'm going to drop the camera. It's got a little spirit level on it, so yeah. I can tell when my... And you can do the normal stuff with the tripod. You can twist it wherever you want it. So, yeah. Yeah, it does everything we need, and it's the ones we like, so... Yeah, and then the last thing, well, there's other things in here, but they're just lenses. Um, yeah. The last thing in here is the um, Osmo. It's the DJI yeah. Osmo. This one is probably five years old. Yeah, we don't use this at all. We, we used to. Um, again, it's an old one, and we didn't get enough use out of it to warrant buying a new one. Um, maybe if we do start doing more live streams now, we might invest in one then, but we don't really live stream around the park or on the day out. Um, so yeah, it's really good. The only problem with it, the battery it sucks. And it overheats, this one does. I yeah. know that the newer ones probably don't, but um, this one used to get so hot. Yeah. Um, and like John said, the battery lasted like maybe, I don't know, not no, an hour. Not long, no, less than that. Not an hour. Also what we found was, Connecting it to the phone was tricky. Yeah. And it either really, really worked or really, really didn't. Especially if you've got a big phone. Like I say, I've got yeah. iPhone 12 Pro Max, the big one, um, and it was difficult to put in there. Yeah. Um, so maybe if you've got a slightly smaller phone and that, it might have been easier. But the weight was, yeah, it, it, it 
it wasn't great. I know there's better ones out there now. I know the pocket is is really good now. But the pocket you don't connect anything to. No. So you're stuck with that camera. Yeah, I know there's a, a better version of this or yeah. a, a modern version to that. So that might be better. Yeah, like it's we don't a use great... it enough to warrant buying it. No, it's a great idea. Yeah. Um, and we had a lot of fun playing with it. Um, the I think at the time. And this is five years old, so bear that yeah. in mind, because that makes a massive difference. Absolutely. And I do think now they're going to be much smoother. And I think if we, we wouldn't know ourselves if we tried <laughs> yeah. a newer one. Absolutely. Um, yeah, so this is the Osmo. We keep it because just in case. <laughs> yeah. Um, that, and I do, I think that's such a great idea. Yeah. But there are other brands as well now that do these and probably do them just as well. Yeah, so. maybe one day we'll look into it. But like I say, if we were live streaming in a park or out on a day, we'll probably look at it then. Um, but we don't do a lot of that. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe one day we'll look at a new, new one, but like, don't use it a lot at all. I yeah, remember last time we used it. It's whether it's it's worth it, isn't it? I think um, also with the Sony and the Canons now, the stabilisation on them are so good anyway. Yeah. You know, the days that you get, you, you get some and up and down, but it's smoother That's than... because we walk like that. Yeah, <laughs> it's normally smoother than, than that, the normal anyway. And on the iPhones, like we said earlier, the stabilisation on them is really good as well. Yeah. So, so those are the big things that are in our <laughs> camera bag. Obviously, we've got cables for days, yes. uh, wires, chargers. SD cards for days. Like a million of these things <laughs> yeah. that we take off immediately. I think every time we go on holiday, we buy a new SD card. We've got them um, piles oh, yeah. and piles we and piles We have an them. SD card um, <laughs> holder. We just got it from Amazon. So. Yeah, um, we've got the iMac um, 27-inch screen where we do most of our um, editing on. We also got the notebook. Is it notebook? Ma MacBook. MacBook. <laughs> the MacBook that we use as well. So yeah. yeah, that's what we do our editing on. And we only use uh, iMovie to edit at the moment as well. We were talking about getting the other version of a different editor, but we haven't got time to do that either yet. Yeah, <laughs> I think um I think I've said before, but I think we're right at our limitations on iMovie, yeah. um, but also don't want to spend the money yeah. to move to the next one. So we'll probably put up with it for a little bit longer. Yeah. Um see how we go, um and then when we're ready to move on. Absolutely. We'll move on. If you're thinking about doing a YouTube channel or start filming anything, then you can literally film on anything. You actually film on your phone. You don't need Lots any of people film on their phone. Absolutely, you don't need any of this. It's only that I like gadgets and never like gadgets that like we've got here. You don't need any of this at all to get going. Yeah, so the cameras um, were things that we had anyway. Yeah, like apart from the Sony. Yeah, but I mean, um, the M100 we bought before we started yeah. vlogging, um, and then obviously we've just updated our cameras since then, yeah. but cameras are something we would have anyway, so it's just like the studio <laughs> yeah. gear that we wouldn't Absolutely, have. yeah, and that cost hardly nothing on Amazon, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Let us know down in the comments what it is you film on, or take pictures on, or yep. what gadgets are your favourite. And if there's anything we're missing from our gadget bag, please tell me, because I will buy it. Absolutely, yeah, we will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and hit the notification bell, and we will see you in the next one. Absolutely, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.